back with one boy Joe as he's learning new strategies for recovery and preparation. Perfect timing, of course, because we're getting ready to enter the WKA National Muay Thai Championships taking place right here in Edmonton, Alberta. Uh, we went through the lower extremities last time and now we're getting into the upper extremities. Now it's imperative or it's important that we start creating more space more intentional extension or release of the tight tissues of the T-spine. Now especially for fighters, because we're always in that compacted punched position, more or less, we start over accessing too much hip, actually not enough hip mobility, too much lower back extension, and not enough T-spine extension over a period of time. That can cause a lot of discomfort and grief into the lower back area most importantly into the rib cage that's always stacked down and always protected out of that position and you're still drilling all those endurance drills taking damage say from kicks punches or blocking those particular positions you'll actually run out of energy you'll actually run out of the ability to breathe properly so it's imperative that we're starting to gain more space or release the tight tissues the atrophy tissues of the t-spine as a movement dynamic issues or imbalances or dysfunction, this area typically gets blocked up and over accentuated or over exaggerated a lot for fighters because of that constant punch position. So again, it's important to go through comprehensive rollout technique drills such as these to help relieve some of that tension point or some of those similar positions that help us, but over a period of time if we always exist there, they can cause problems in the long run. So we gotta have somewhere to kind of balance it out or reverse those effects. So this is where we would start. He gets pretty good extension because he moves well. We're gonna go over some other drills that would actually go over um, addressing some areas where you may not necessarily get this much mobility out of that extension. Some more comprehensive ones that you would find in front of the rib cage and in some trigger points. Not necessarily this general approach that we're taking on this unity lifestyle, the grind roller here. Fabulous friends from right here in Canada. You see?